you just you have to be playing out of your mind at all times dude in bronze one like you have like, in bronze one in bronze you one literally have in to. bronze one in bronze one <laughs> I got one on D, got shot in the back, like... The respawn time is 30 years, I'll be back with you guys in the ne next match. Nice, big kills. That's four dead. Get in their base. Huge f***ing trip, man. Oh my god. You have to be having the best night you've ever had on Call of Duty, but every night. In Bronze 1. <laughs> so here's my conclusion. After playing a couple games, I think at the start, when you're in a division like that, right? So like, okay, let's say everyone in the game is in Bronze. How does it match make you when everyone in the game is in Bronze? Does it just put you in a random lobby? I think that within the skill division you're in, there is still a hidden SBMM parameter that impacts who you play against similar to Halo. So you can be a diamond player with bad stats playing other bad diamond players, or you can be a diamond player with good stats playing against good diamond players because mysteriously, every single player we played tonight in bronze division was a fucking lord. Like absolutely cracked out of their minds looked them up three kd sweating their ass off purchase cdl skin players yeah in bronze division and 100%. if it was truly random we would have encountered a bad player also in bronze division best selling game of the year also best selling game of january so it's still ascending in population and players are returning for the update right. there is a gargantuan a gargantuan pool of bronze players to choose from and yet magically Every single person I played against tonight was a demigod. And it's just no coincidence. And we know that onboarding skill exists. We know that that's a parameter for matchmaking, that it will put you in an onboarding pool of players in a certain bracket. But it's not a fair shake, right? That's the thing that's f annoying, is it's not, it's not a fair and balanced, honest way to determine what your skill is. Because it's saying, now you have to climb out of bronze playing against essentially people that should be in diamond or higher right off of the bat is dishonest trickery even in ranked play which you would think would not do that well that's the whole point of the ranking is to match you based on the ranking not not on hidden mmr parameters but we know that halo infinite does the same thing and that was and that was bull when we figured that out too i mean halo infinite ranked works the same way so much so that i mean just like this game your social unranked playing affects the bracket that you're actually your hidden MMR bracket that you're in even for ranked play so we would go play social unranked matches in Halo Infinite and we would do well and then we would come back into ranked after not doing well in ranked or barely playing ranked and immediately magically in bronze we would get matched against once again amazing players sweaty players demigods not a coincidence that's not the only people who are playing there are people why does bronze as a as a th why does bronze and silver and gold why do these things exist if no one's in them like that's what they want you to believe like oh just no one is a bronze player everyone's onyx actually the <laughs> yeah, whole yeah, player yeah. base what same thing with the same thing with cod bro everyone everyone is a iridescent player there's no one in bronze or silver yeah. division there's no, no one that plays the game is bad so then like, why they have the division specifically for those people anticipating that they will play rank right so then where are they in our matches when we're in bronze and i would think that it's bullshit or we were crazy or whatever if it was a few years ago and i haven't seen what i've seen at this point all the irrefutable proof and data and facts and the literal code that shows we're being with on that level that even ranked and like i said you know we did a, a experiment on halo infinite um and deduce that on halo infinite so it's like i know i know it works the same uh, over here of course it does because it works because everyone's winning everyone's m making money so obviously just to clarify i think like there's a really big distinction where it's obviously we're playing ranked and we expect a more competitive like a more intense experience right but there's no balance to it at all i know that there are people queuing for ranked right now who are not very good at the game or not as good at the game or around the same skill level as me or like whatever. 
and I did not experience getting matched with those players both on or off of my team. It was just only the sweatiest 3KD craziest players. And I don't think that that's a legitimate, it's not a fair shake at all. Well, it's not a coincidence either. We just played a game of hard play and we just lost 250 to 40. Right. Where was the team balancing on that one? Right. Where was the skill-based matchmaking and the team balancing on that one? But coincidentally, we only encountered players equal to us in skill or better than us. We didn't encounter a single player that was bad. Right. There wasn't a single player we encountered in, in bronze one that was bad. And I just, you right. know, like, like, how do you make sense of that? Nobody has placed every, the game, ju by the way, just came out, this update just came out less than. Yeah, 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 seven hours ago. You know, seven hours ago. And no one is placed at all. How are we getting matched against exclusively only amazing players? You cannot tell me that those are the only people on the game right now at launch. Everyone's back on the game, by the way, with this new update. Every like all bunch of people came back to the game. It's just I, I'm so f irritated because I just wanted to grind the game and have like I want to play a competitive FPS like, but I also want to just like. I want to play people of my skill level and like improve. Right. <laughs> I don't want to get put in matches like that that I just played where, oh, well, you have a 2.6 KD from public match. So you're going to go against people that have a 2.6 KD, but have actually still been playing the game. Unlike you, who before I launched, I saw on Steam. I haven't played it since December 17th. It's today's February 15th. So two months since I've even loaded the game up, yeah, let alone actually got on and played something or any competitive capacity. And I'm just instantly baptized back in with absolute demigods. Yep. And I can't do anything. And, and I'm in the lowest division possible, and that's happening. So I can't climb. And I also can't improve. Because like I said, we just lost that game like 250 to 40. Like, it was it was a, literally a mercy kill. Yeah. Where like was the team balancing on that one? Like, where was the, the, the skill-based matchmaking on that one? Yeah. I, like, I'm not learning shit. I'm just getting shit on. Like Because there was nothing on. competitive about that match. Right, and it's I get no reminiscence of Cold War uh, League play whatsoever. I just not even a shred of it. Like Cold War League play was fun. I felt like I was playing against people around my skill level, and it was always like a close game, like a fun, close, competitive game where you felt like you could win if you just tried hard enough. You know what I mean? Like, you know, come together as a team or whatever. And that just doesn't even immediately at bronze one does not feel like the case. We're not being matched with just anyone. We're being matched with people who are, I, I can't even say equal. They're not equal to my skill level. That's for sure. I was getting, <laughs> I haven't played this game in two or three months. And I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like that was my MMR at all. Like, this is what we talked about in one of our videos. It's just like, you know, you're being held to a standard that you met a long time ago, maybe in a different COD game. Like I said, I haven't launched Call of Duty since December 17th, and I'm still expected to play at the level I was playing at when I had logged 250 hours on the game, like 30 or 40 days. Yeah, playing the game like five hours a day. I was still expected to play in that capacity. And then they have the audacity to give me one of those little like post-match surveys that says, did you have fun in your last match? As if me selecting yes or no actually impacts anything. <laughs> like, yeah, like they listen to that for sure. I'm like, no, I didn't have fun in my last match because everyone was sweating their asses off. And then Kyle will be like, oh, okay. We'll give you a sweatier lobby so that it's more competitive for you. Yeah, like it's not that I want to stomp noobs. I don't want to play against bronzes forever. You know, I want to just, cl but I want to climb. I want to figure out where my skill level actually is. You know, maybe it's gold, maybe it's plat, maybe it's even diamond. If I, if I joined a match and I saw a party of six max prestige guys, I just backed out. You used to be anyway, completely in control of your game experience. Now it's all targeted and designed for you. And you're literally just in a simulation of whatever the algorithm has determined is the experience you should have in your yeah. next lobby. There's no agency to how you experience the game anymore. Every every bit of fun that you have, if you have any, is completely artificial. Along with the bad experiences you have are completely artificial. I just want a variety in my experience. I'm not saying that I should be able to stomp on noobs. I'm just saying that I shouldn't have to be locked in, like taking Adderall to do well every single match. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I feel that. I have to be, in order to pull out any, any amount of good play, I have to be just 
so focused up, so on. I am also a guy who gets home from 12 hour shift and has one hour to play COD before I need right. to go to bed. Right. Like, I would also like to get home from 12 hour shift on oil rig. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and play one match of COD. But because I've been playing the, the, the series for fucking 14 years and I got pretty good at it and I competed in it eight years ago, I'm yeah. still held to that standard today. I'm under I'm under no delusion that I'm anywhere near as good as I was 10 years ago. You know, because I, I traveled around to events and competed in fucking ghosts. Like, you know, now I'm just, I'm naturally better at the game because I've put so much time into it. I can, I can barely call out with how hard I have to concentrate. Yeah, same. Just to like, just to go positive in COD. Let yeah. alone like sit there and maintain like a focus conversation with someone it's just not pop like and, and the game sound i have to have so loud to even survive it's just ridiculous like why do i have to be deaf by 30 like and cause myself severe eye damage like just just to have a public unranked casual social matchmaking game of call of duty for one hour after after i get off work like right. Right. I mean, I'm even like, look, all right, I'm going to go into ranked. It's going to be challenging. We're going to have to. But I, I just get no sense of like, I feel like no matter what I do, it's uh, like there's nothing I'm going to be able to do to affect the outcome. Like, it's so beyond me to f have any shot. At, it's like, what do you want me to do? Well, SPMM is crazy, too, because now it's not only has it made me, yes, it has it robbed the joy of like playing, but it also makes me feel like and it has it made it so difficult to do well. <laughs> but it's also made me feel like even when I do well, it's like either one was that like manufactured artificial performance like they put me in a lobby with bad players or they turned my aim assist up or something or the other question is like wow everyone in this lobby is sweating and i still had a 3 kd that game was i being a f loser like was i camping in a corner with the most overpowered gun in the game or something like it's like there's no way that i legitimately just got a 3 kd uh, against the kids that i played against with the spmm parameters right it's like so you just question your performance it's like okay well I just went 40 and 9, but those guys were absolutely sweating. So clearly, like, I must have been camping and they probably think I'm a loser. It feels bad. When you do good, you question it. Was it artificial that I did well? Like, did the yeah. game just decide that I was going to do all that game? Or was I, like, manipulating and exploiting the system in a way that, you know, people would frown upon? You can't naturally do well in the game. It's literally designed for you to not do that. It's designed for you to win a match, lose a match. To win a match, lose a match. Go positive, go negative, go even. The goal is for you to have a 1KD. The goal is for everyone to have a 1KD. You know, for people that are better at the game that have been playing for a long time. That's boring as fuck. Like, yeah, absolutely. a 1KD, boring as fuck, dude. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Check out all of our socials, and join the Game Games Discord for updates, events, community nights, and to interact with us. And for the full discussion, check out the Game Games Podcast. Link in the description.